Hey y'all, we're back. I, uh, I'm gonna bring you a little, little quick little clip here of uh, gluing this stuff together. Here we're doing a little, um, a little test. I uh, mixed a little um, aluminum shavings into some, into some uh, just regular old uh, five minute epoxy. I'm not sure what brand it is. My brother Kenny gave it to me. There's no label on it or nothing. Um, but I had to do a test, assuming that my brother is impatient that it would be five minute epoxy and sure as anything it's uh in 82 degrees 84 degree weather it's about five minutes um it's been uh, hardened up here for about yeah 20 minutes or so half an hour um you can still kind of leave a mark in it but uh, it's going to be you know 24 hours or whatever before it's completely cured um this is the same stuff a little more of it i thought maybe because i only did a tiny little bit maybe it wasn't enough to get going but i just did this uh, not even five minutes ago but she's already stiffening up so little test we got some jb quick here too i also got devcon marine tax and some other uh some other brand of stuff over here i got all kinds of this junk laying around and we're just going to use what we got um, i made a little glue and fixture you know a little quarter inch pin uh to hold where uh the, the pieces are going to be bolted together right you got to grind, um, rough up. I shouldn't say grind, I should say rough up, because if you just take the grinder and run over it, you're not really making it uh, rough enough. So uh, what we did is we literally went like this. Just like that. And it makes it gnarly. I mean, it actually feels like sandpaper. And, and it's going to give it a good bite. So we're not going to put... You know, we're sandwiching this stuff together. There's not going to be a whole boatload of glue in there holding things together. So what you want there, you want it etching in real good. So what we'll do is uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll put the stuff on and uh, pop these things together. I mean, they can move around a little bit, but uh, we didn't want to, we didn't want these things sliding. Because when you try to clamp them together, they'll try to slide the plies. And if you don't pay attention they harden up and they're so far out of whack you got to go back to the bandsaw and cut more parts and we're not doing we ain't got no time for that okay and we're smarter than that so it, a couple two by fours put some masking tape down after you drill a couple quarter inch holes in uh, just some round stock i had laying around i whacked into pieces to to locate the holes three layers uh on the fronts two layers on each rear uh we'll, we'll glue them together we scuff the rest of this stuff up along with the radiator um, in anticipation of once this stuff dries up, hardens up enough, we'll, we'll clear any ooze that came out, clean them up, and then, you know, we can go ahead and glue them right on to the radiator. So um, that's it for now. Uh, just a quick little update on uh, how to prep your aluminum for glue, making sure it's uh, good and rough. Um, choosing anything, really, that... Uh, you can get it at a hardware store for epoxy to glue them together. Um, preferably something for metal, would you know, that's primarily for metal, and not for plastics. But uh, anything will work. Um, we know that JB works on radiators and stuff. John JW, he swears by this stuff. I've seen him fix pissing leaking radiators right at the racetrack, drain them out, put a little vacuum on the thing once you find the hole. Clean, get it cleaned up and, and mix up some JB and put it on there and get a vacuum and literally draw it into the hole and then, you know, let it sit for five minutes or so and she hardens right up. And uh, I know John's running radiators on supercars right now that have JB weld on them and have been running them that way for years. So uh, uh, way to go, J-Dubs. Thanks for the hot tip. Um, this stuff works on just about everything, so. We're gonna we're gonna lay the lumber to it as soon as the test is done. We're gonna go over and watch Chuck do a little work. As you can see, he's hard at it over there. We're gonna sit and enjoy his labor while we let our test go off here. But that's it for now. We'll bring you back some more in a little bit. God bless y'all. Here's Chuck. Check it out. <laughs>